Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posed by a community. I'm Steve Yao, I was known as Yasta Forums, and today we're looking at a forum thread where they're asking for a tutorial for the scroll view. Unfortunately, uh, well, we don't actually have a full tutorial and I don't really have time for it at the moment, although we should have one soon. Um, I thought I'd do a Office Hours where I'll go through a crash course on how it's set up and how, um, how and also like the basics of how you can use it within your scene. So if we go here and create our uh, scroll view element, this creates a group of entities uh, that are all basically reference each other and set up for a basic scroll view. And generally, I recommend uh, that anyone who wants to, to add a scroll view to the UI would start from the template, hit, sorry, template, uh, set up from the preset template, what do you want to call it, and customize it uh, to suit your needs. And with this, there's two main parts to the scroll view. Uh, one is the scroll view parent, uh, which controls how big it, uh, the scroll view is on the UI. And the other is the content. So the content is referenced by the scroll view component here, uh, as you can see here. And um, what the content does, it controls effectively um, the size of the scroll area in the scroll view. So you can see in our basics here, we've got the scroll, uh, we've got the scroll view itself set at 200 by 200, which is uh, this width shown here. Uh, sorry, this width and height shown here. But the content is 400 by 400. Uh, so you can see the scroll bars here are halfway down and halfway across, showing that it's only showing 50% or so 50%, 25%, 25% of uh, the content in the view. And so if we make the content larger and smaller, you can see the scroll bars change in size um, to represent what the area being shown is uh, compared to how big the content area is. So if, if we, for example, if we wanted to put in uh, an image for Catio and scroll around, uh, what we do here is we add a image element as a child, put our texture on there, and we make sure that our content fits the um, image of the cat. And uh, we're going to do this uh, as easy, uh, in the easy way, which is just copy and paste the, uh, uh, the width and the height. So there. And and of course, uh, because these are uh, these are elements, these all can be like uh, positioned through the normal ways that you do with elements, which is through anchors, pivot points, and uh, that's really it. and oh, and margins as well. So now, if we run this, what we see here is we've got scroll bars, and we can now move around and look at our cat, which is great. So. As I mentioned, this uh, what I've got to mention is that the content doesn't size around its children automatically. That's something you would have to do manually in code, if, especially if you've got a sort of dynamic score area. I do have a uh, project example here uh, where uh, where you can sort of remove elements and add them, and it resizes the content um, dynamically, uh, in code based on like the button presses and how many elements there are. So if you do want to do something that's dynamic, you have to do that in code. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have a content size fitter yet. Oh, there's something on our to-do list or request list on the engine. Um, go back to our scroll view. So this is also an element in itself, um, and can be positioned in various ways. So you can put it in the top left hand corner, we can put it into the top right and pivot, and we can resize it to fit the screen in any way we want to. So if we wanted it to be, let's say, uh, let's say we put it into this center, so center anchor, and we put the, uh, what is it, pivot point of this to be halfway, so it's centered in the middle. So the middle of the viewport, uh, the scroll view, is also the middle of the screen. Uh, if we launch this, we can see here, this is, uh, now that we've shown more of the content, the scroll bars are a lot much larger. And of course, uh, if let's say we wanted, uh, sorry, and of course you can also set the size and position based on the parent or the relative size of the parent by using anchors. So for example, if we wanted to create, if we this was part of, let's say a panel, for example, so let's uh, quickly create a panel. So user interface, image element, and uh, we put that uh, under our 2D screen, which is fine. Call this panel. And we wanted this scroll view to be part of the panel. So now it's a child of a, uh, a panel that is actually quite small. So let's make that a bit bigger. Uh, let's say 600 by 800 in height. And there we go. Uh, maybe it's small actually. Uh, let's do 605. And we wanted the 
viewport to be anchored to the bottom. Um, so let's do that, anchor to the bottom and half the height. So bottom anchor pivot, so it's always anchored at the bottom. Uh, we want it to be half the height. So what we do is anchor to the left, anchor to the right, anchor to the bottom, and only halfway up the top. And make sure we set our margins to be zero, zero, zero. Uh, oh, whoops, nope, sorry, my bad. This is left, uh, uh, left, was it left, down. Oops. Uh, so let's position it right. So that needs to be one. Um, and this should be zero. There we go. So it's, and we set the margin back to zero. So, and there we go. So we've made it so that the scroll, uh, scroll view is always the width of the parent by setting the anchors of the left and right to be uh, zero and one. And we all, uh, made it so it's always uh, pivoted at the bottom with zero, so the anchor's at the bottom, but it's only half the height at the top. And uh, pivot should be at the bottom. So middle, bottom, yeah, so middle, bottom, which is fine. So it's 0.5 for the X, so it's, uh, pivots here on the viewport, and zero at the bottom, which is right here. It's great. Okay, so if we go to our launch window, we can see here, that is anchor at the bottom. And then if we change the size of the parents, for example, let's say we change the width, you can see that the uh, scroll view panel also resizes relative uh, to uh, its parent that we've anchored to using those numbers. So hopefully that will give you a quick crash course on to uh, using scroll views and how to position them and how to and how all the uh, how some of the positioning works relative to its parent. And if you have any questions, like post in the forum and thread itself, and I'll be able to help a bit more and maybe expand on this uh, video a bit more uh, and know what to put in the tutorial itself a bit later. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.